Good morning everybody, I have another video for the sofa made yesterday, so this is, excuse me, <clears throat> this is Wisteria Lane, I had the name in my head and was thinking why, why Wisteria Lane, why is that coming into my head and I didn't know what it was so I googled it and then it all made sense, it was from Desperate Housewives which actually, I never watched all the way through to the end, but I really enjoyed the first series and then just stopped watching it. And I do actually quite like those kind of programs. <laughs> There's a little confession. I'm a massive Knott's Landing fan. <laughs> and so it's kind of like, I suppose, Desperate Housewives was like the new version of like those kind of shows like Dallas and, I mean, Dallas. Oh my god, but Knott's Landing, I actually prefer to Dallas. Really, really love that program. But um, yeah, Desperate Housewives, they lived on Wisteria Lane, but somehow it had gone into the archives of my brain. And the program isn't the reason I called the soap that, it's just that that's, that's it. That's where it's come from. Okay. So, I'm going to have to lower my water content again in these soaps because I can't stand that they sweat and that they're kind of wet the next day. I don't like that feeling. And when I do my water discounts, I don't get that. <coughs> so, I'm going to have to kind of lower the water just a little bit so that... I don't get that sweating, which is what I've got on the last one, and I think it's what I've got on this one as well. So, ew, I don't like it. Okay, so we've got some coffee brewing, it's New Year's Eve, and I've just marinated a great big lump of pork. <laughs> so we're going to have pork shoulder, a pulled pork shoulder, so I'm going to cook it in the oven for six hours today. So I'm going home in a little while. I'm going to make a couple of soaps, I think, and then go home. And make the house cosy for when Matt comes home from work. And then we're going to have a nice chilled out New Year's Eve at home. I think it just feels a bit weird because it's fallen in the middle of the week. There's the centre with all these little shreds. Nice that the white kept its colour. I wasn't sure if it was going to or not, but it has, so that's good news. I didn't think it did discolour, but you never know if it might just, you know, go a little duller or something like that, but it didn't. It stayed lovely, creamy white. So here's the soapies. Nice and clean looking. I like that nice, clean, fresh look for, you know, the start of a new year. I think that's nice. A nice little thing. Just chop these off again. My soaps used to be about this big. <laughs> it's rather large. I used to do like all my soaps used to be around six ounces, so they ain't no more. They're about five. Between four and five. I'm just gonna pour my coffee. because I'm nearly out mm. and that'll never do. Okay let's uh, cut these in the bowls again. My blue roll. Okay I'll just do these 
use and I'll do those end pieces off of camera because you don't need to see all that. Okay. I like it. I like it quite a lot. I think it's a really pretty, simple and clean looking soap. I like those little blobs that have gone on the top there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Some nice cocoa butter in there as well I put in as my super fat. So yeah, overall I'm happy with these, they'll just uh, be trimmed up, I like that, where you get like almost a whole ball in there. They've stuck well because <coughs> they were uh, new, fresh soap balls, not old ones, so they've sort of merged in really nicely with the soap batter. So, let's all these out. Just, just something really nice about that creamy white soap. I like. Let's go down. A few samples. God, I don't like how sticky it is. It's horrible. <laughs> I forget. Well, I can remember like how this used to feel on my hands when I made soap first and when I was doing it all in my kitchen. And, yeah, kind of sticky all the time. But I'm not used to it. I mean, that's what the water discount does. Great things. <laughs> Stops all of that and obviously helps the cure time speed along a little more. It's basically, you know, the curing involves the soap going a lot milder and also evaporating out the water content. So if you discount it, that will obviously happen a little faster. I think, I believe that soap's obviously... Um, get milder so the water discount isn't so much to make the soaps cure faster though I'm sure it helps I mean I think it can cut off at least a week of the cure time by having that water reduced because it's not going to evaporate it all out but even so the soap will still continue to cure and go milder and milder as the weeks go on for sure absolutely for sure I've got some soaps which, you know, I've had for a couple of years and then I use them and they're like so mild and so nice on the skin. So the longer you can leave it, the better, I think. And they'll be a bit harder and longer lasting, maybe. I mean, I'm not too sure about that, but I presume that that's the case. Anywho, these are nice. So, I'm going to trim them up, finish those off there, and I will see you for another video shortly. I don't know what I'm going to do today. <clears throat> I think I might do a couple at once so I can melt down two batches of oils in one go because I've got my lye ready mixed. And then, yeah, tobacco vanilla has got to happen. So I'm not sure whether I'll do one or two. I know that one's definitely coming for Valentine. So these others, this one and the fruity one, are just going to be sort of... Actually, let me show you. Oh, these are nice together. They make a nice sort of set, I think, because the colours are the same. So there's my last two soaps. I'm waiting for those fragrances, so I can't do all the Valentine stock until they get here. And I don't know when they're going to be here because I've got no tracking number at the moment. So we'll see. Okay, I will see you for the next one. Bye.